Today we're going to be working with multiples of unit fractions. A unit fraction is a fraction that has one as the numerator. So in this case we have one tenth, one eighth, one fifth, one seventh, and one fourth as our examples. Because of each of these have a one as our numerator, they are known as the unit fraction. They're the smallest uh, part of the whole that we can have. So we're going to start today by first multiplying a unit fraction using repeated addition. Multiplication is the same thing as repeated addition. So I'm going to multiply 1 8 times 4. So in order to do that I'm going to take 1 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 8 now we know that when you add add fractions your denominator stays the same so our denominator here is going to stay as 8 and we're only going to add the numerator so as we add the numerator, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. That gives us a numerator of 4 and a denominator which stays the same as 8. So we get 4 eighths. Down below here, we're going to multiply the unit fractions using a model. So 4 1 eighths, as you notice here, we have a rectangle, not a very good drawn rectangle, but that's okay. And it is divided into eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In a perfect world, these would all be equal. But because I have to draw it on here, it's not going to be. Um, and because we're going four times one eight, we are going to mark four of these. One, two, three, four. So, then we can count them up. One, two, three, four. We get four eighths. Uh, so, our, our answer to this problem would then be four eighths. Or, with the model, we can also see that four eighths is the same thing as one half. So this would be how we multiply a unit fraction using a model. On our next slide here, we are going to use multiplication. So we're going to compare these or move them so that they're easier to multiply. And the way we multiply a fraction is by multiplying straight across. But our 4, we can't multiply straight across because our 4 is not a denominator. Um, so we're going to switch this so that we can see it with a denominator. So this is the exact same thing as 4 over 1. That means there's 4 holes times 1 eighth. Now we can multiply straight across. So we can say... 4 times 1 is going to be 4 and 1 times 8 is going to be 8 gives us our 4 eighths uh, down below here we have a 8 times 1 seventh so we're going to change this so it makes it easier to multiply. And we're going to say is equal to 8, once again, over 1 to remind us that it is a whole number times 1 7th is going to equal then 8 times 1 is going to be 8 and that is going to be over 1 times 7, which is going to be 7. 8 sevenths. And then we can simplify this down 
by simply saying how many times does 7 go into 8. 7 goes into 8 1 times. 1 times 7 is 7 plus 1 equals 8. So we get an answer of 1 and 1 seventh. Now, sometimes on our assignments, it'll just ask for it to be left like this as a renamed improper fraction. Other times, we have to divide it down and bring it down to simplest form so it becomes 1 and 1 seventh. And now we are moving on to writing a fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. So basically, we're just doing the opposite of what we just did. So, in this case, we have 7 eighths. We're going to determine that 7 eighths equals a product. A product is the answer of a multiplication problem. So, the product right here is what we want. That's what this right here is. That's the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. So we're going to multiply it by a whole number and a unit fraction to get that answer. Now our unit fraction is always 1 has the numerator of 1. So our unit fraction is going to have a 1 over and our denominator here is 8. So we're going to keep the 8. So it's going to be 1 over 8. 1 eighth, and we, we're going to multiply that by, and if we multiply it by the numerator, we would get the correct answer. So we're going to multiply it by the numerator, which is 7. So 1 eighth times 7. And this one down here, same thing. We're going to have a unit fraction of 1, and since 10 is our denominator, we're going to keep the 10. And we're going to multiply this one by 6. Uh, 2 thirds over here, we have 2 thirds. So we're going to take our 1 third, and we're going to multiply it by 2. And then over here, we have 3 fourths. So we're going to take our 1 fourth, and we're going to multiply it by 3. And that is how we figure out the product, or write a fraction, as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Um, so now we know how to work a little bit more with fractions.